What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush. Let's talk Jets. It is raining again in New Jersey, and I just can't take any more. I think we need to buy boats just so we can go to work. Because every day it's rain, puddles, and flooding. And it's, it's just so depressing, man. But anyway, there was some news today where the Baltimore Ravens decided to part ways with Greg Roman. And all of a sudden, there was instant speculation. Lamar Jackson and Greg Roman to the Jets, make the power move, do all these things. But if you dig a little deeper and you look behind the scenes of all the things that are reporting out of being reported out of Baltimore, it's not going to happen. The first thing is, I think Lamar Jackson's probably happy Greg Roman is leaving. And that's probably the reason why he'll stay in Baltimore, where he's going to be given an opportunity to get a brand new offense that maybe give him more chances to pass, um, a little more dynamic, a little more versatile, more, more flexible. So I think if you hire Greg Roman with the Jets, I don't think Lamar Jackson wants to follow him. I think he'll, he'll be happier now staying in Baltimore. Furthermore, the Baltimore Ravens said all the right things where they all want him back. Apparently, they're, they're reopening negotiations. So if negotiations don't work out, they're probably going to franchise tag him. So this is going to be a saga. I just think Jackson stays, man. I do. I, I really do. So the next thing is, well, Greg Roman's available. Why don't the Jets hire him? And he fits the criteria of an experienced play caller that's had success. But the success he had is primarily through the running game. He's known to be like a run game tactician. You saw RG3 talk about it today, saying he's one of the best coaches he knows in terms of scheme for the running game. But in terms of the passing attack, it leaves a lot to be desired. So, yes, your running backs will be happy. Your tight ends will be happy. Your wide receivers will be miserable. And the thing is now is the Jets, for the first time in forever, have legitimate playmakers on offense. You have, you know, you have Elijah Moore. You have Garrett Wilson. You have two tight ends that can catch the ball. Brees Hall out of backfield. You have all these things. It's like... You finally had pieces to have a you know a high profile offense or a dynamic offense, and now you to go back to a guy that has a ground and pound mindset. And then you hear the other things that people are saying, where it's like he struggles in the red zone, he struggles with adjusting his defense to adjusting his offense to what defenses are doing. His offense gets stale very quick. All these things where it's like it all becomes very concerning. Now I understand there's not going to be an ideal candidate, and every candidate has concerns, but this is his track record, man where it's all about ground the pound, run the ball, do all that. So if that's what you want, if you want to go back to that, then what kind of quarterback do you want running that system? Because Lamar Jackson's not coming here. So, you you know, if you go out and get a Derek Carr, do you want to kind of have him in that kind of offense, or do you want to have something different? So I'm curious to see how the Jets handle this. I, I don't think Greg Roman's going to be the guy. Um, there's been some interesting names with Byron Leftwich, and, a, a, you know, that's a guy that's interesting. But uh, I don't think Greg Roman's a good fit. And I guess, listen... Like I said, I don't do a ton of research on this. I only know about what my instinct and what I read, so I could be completely off base in this. But if it's all about running, the Jets have not had a legitimate passing attack with a coordinator that can could put it all together in forever. So I think that's where if you want to compete with the Josh Allens, the Patrick Mahomes, the Justin Herberts, the Joe Burrows, you need to be able to throw the football. Throw the football. I can't talk. I don't know why. I, I might try through. So uh, we'll see what happens, and I'll talk to you later.